Hello, in this video I am going to talk about little bit of Oracle and I am going to show you how to use Oracle and also I am going to show you how to use a tool. I will not go in a very depth but I will give you a brief introduction of Oracle. Let's say you have already installed, I assume that you already installed the Oracle and you actually can go to the Oracle and you can go to the application development and start the SQL plus. Once you start the SQL plus, it will ask for the username. In my case, basically there are a lot of users or database that is already on the installed with the one, one is HR and you can see other ones also. But I will take the username as HR and the password would be whatever. When I actually unlock that HR database while installing it, if you are installing, if you uh, this is Oracle Tenji, if you are already installed, you know there are a lot of data, things that are locked. You can unlock the HR and other things if you want. And I will use a password and I'll get it connected. Now that I have already got connected to the Oracle, I can basically, if you want to see the tables in the Oracle, you can actually use the user table let's say if i say select star from user tables to view the num what are the tables but you can see that there are a lot of data in it that cannot come on the single screen so i will just select the table name for right now table name table name from the from user tables Usually Oracle is case sensitive by, de by default because it is installed mostly on Unix, Linux, Windows also but mostly it is a default is actually case sensitive in the Oracle. This is running on the Windows so that's okay and here we can actually see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tables, 7 rows, 7 rows selected. These are the 7 rows that has been actually seven rows that have been retrieved that is the seven tables exist in that database now if you see how do you go on looking into the tables okay so by saying if i say select start from let's say take it employee in this case employees i will just show you and you can see that there are a lot of data coming up and you can see that the, all the data has been listed depending upon what you wanted you can actually choose the column names suppose if I wanted only to change few columns suppose there were may, maybe 50, 50 40 columns depending upon the table was big how would you be able to see what column you want to choose because this is like a very jumbled data isn't it so you can say describe Describe employees which would give you the structure of the table employees. Describe employees you can see that the the first it says shows the column name, the second it shows the not null and third it shows the type the type. As you can see, the problem is that usually if you go and see, if you have used a SQL Server and if you say SVH help for the table name, you will also be shown that what indexes it has and other things. Uh, Oracle doesn't show you that thing right now. And you have to look at the other, other data. As you can see, maybe this table doesn't have an index. So let's say anyway select start from employees and let's say we have we will try to get it by the salary select stuff from employees. Uh, 
Okay, let's take some field instead of taking everything. Employee uh, first name, first name, last name, employee, employee ID, and I will take salary. from the employees where salary less than equals to 10,000 ok and I go grab uh, table doesn't exist very strange so like Let's see, I just copy it. It should have worked. Let me see it again. What is the problem? Yes, it is it's yes, employees only. So why it should create a problem? Ah, yes, yes, yes. We cannot have the Problem with the oracle is you have to remove because this your salary doesn't oracle doesn't offer you a very good interface to actually connect it to your table as you can see again again the problem has come the moment you actually that's the exactly the reason I would move to the toad and I will show you exactly how to use the toad instead of your salary less than and and you can see a lot of data as you are being able to see the problem is not here. The problem is you cannot keep on using uh, again and again and it will create a headache for you. So let's move to the oracle, uh, sorry, to the toad and I am already logged in but I will show you how to log in. Okay and let's say I want to move to the toad and I will go to the quest software and we will go to oracle sorry the oracle toad for oracle and this thing I will I already have actually logged in and I can say connect and already I am connected to the table and I can see the tables here right at the right side corner because I have actually view I am viewing the view, object palette T now if I wanted to select the views I can select the views also I can select the synonyms and again I will go back to the table this is a very good you know what you can select the very good to see what are the tables already there so you know you can move here now I can type it exactly like here but this is being told is an excellent tool if you wanted to use for the oracle employees there are many other tools you can use it but I prefer this thing and this is the oracle and you can see that the data has been much like what you would be seeing in a windows environment not like the oracle presents you data as if it was a, like a text without any formatting this is the exactly how it should be appear now as you can see Toad not only gives you the access to the and I can also still go and modify here, it's all here, you know. 
just as I would be doing in SQL Server. Uh, we are salary less than equals to ten thousand order by salary and let's say I execute it again and as you can see that the salary has been ordered if I wanted it to be in the descending order I could have said descending in the end and it should do my job for the descending and you can execute the SQL again and okay okay let's run it oh it's the problem is that you have to select the whole thing and run it if you select uh, half the SQL it thinks it gives you a syntax error okay so this is as you can see salary is in the descending order now what else right now I'm not going to move to the SQL or saying I'm just want to show you what the or I, what the toad can do so that you can understand how good it is to use with the Oracle now let's suppose if I wanted to see all the schema what the schema has so we have a schema browser and it can show you the tables the views the triggers yeah that's great isn't it as you can see I can see all the schemas as well now here is one of the schema that you know we actually got into the database and we are under the schema HR right now as you can see this is the HR schema and we are under working under the HR schema right now there are many other schema provided by Oracle Tangi then we have users as you can see lot of users these are the I have not added anything so this is by the default by the Oracle what it provides you and this is the privileges if you want to go into the system administration of the Oracle and then there is a table space there is no table space so it's okay and then there is a rollback segment resource plan resource group directories and there are a lot of many other things so now suppose if you do not want to look at this thing in this manner like in a tree manner there is another way of looking at it you can select a single role tabbed now what you will see is that you will see a tab moving from here left to the right and you can actually move rollback segment table space libraries roles and so on you can go and go on as you can see you can go on from the left to the right right to the left and we can go to the tables now there's one more option if you wanted to see it in the multiple tab you can see it multiple tab and you now this is very clumsy but some people like it this way and again if you want to go to the drop down here is a drop down way you can select it drop down way because there is nothing here let's go and select tables and you will see the tables list okay excellent thing and again if you want to go back to the tree view you can go back to the tree view and once you have done it, it takes some time to actually uh, populate this tree so once the tree is populated then only you will see this icon getting disappeared of the glass okay now it has got the tree populated now I can close it and I can come back to the main 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 screen and I can still keep on typing the SQL I can create a stored procedure and other things there of course there are templates also here I will not go into that detail right now and as you can see there are many many things so I would just like to end it here so this was a basic introduction to the Oracle and Toad I hope you enjoyed it bye bye have a nice day